everybody. I am getting ready to go to Dollar Tree. Why don't you come and go with me? Hey everybody, I'm getting ready to go to Dollar Tree. It's going to be fun and then I have to go to the grocery store, but it is really hot and we had some rain and lots of storm last weekend. This weekend it's just kind of been, you know, hot and muggy. And then today we had rain this morning, which I wasn't expecting. And now it's really hot and muggy. So anyway, figure I needed a shopping trip and I thought I would take you with me. Let's go. Okay, so this Dollar Tree, let me see if I can show you. Getting ready for our independence. See if there's anything else we need. I think pretty decorated. Oh, that's cute. Little bunting. All kinds of flip flops if you need them. Cute. These are cute too. They got little things on them. Cute. Any birthday stuff? Yeah, these cool big trucks. Like this logging truck. I think that's cool. Head blanket. Look at that. They are 28 by 24. Probably need two for the car. Kitty, kitty, kitty. They love these. So, just found some clean beauty products here at Dollar Tree. Look at that. Okay, well, I got some good stuff. Hey everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this shop with me. Now I'm going to present to you what I picked up at Dollar Tree. And some of it is for me, some of it is for our kids' church, and some of it is for some other things. So let me show you what I got. And let me know if you see any of these things at your store. I'm curious as to what you're actually seeing at your store. So uh, let's see, first we'll just pick up bag here. I love how they bag them. It's just a surprise when you open it, right? Okay, so this is for the kids' store. This is an, uh, uh, fashion accessories. They're all kinds of little shoes for your like Barbie. Um, purses and I think that will be a hit for sure. Then I use folders all the time and I wanted to show you a really fun thing to do with folders so I will probably do that but not right away. So these are fun happy folders so those go in my office supply stash. Then these weed barriers I bought them last year and they work really well. I think it was last year. Anyway the last time that I bought them, they worked really well. So I did get a couple, I don't have a huge space. They are four by eight and honestly, they, they did work really well. So I said that like four times, three times? I don't know, anyway, they do work. So if you're interested and your store has them and you need them, pick it up. All right, like I said, I have a kid's store. So I did pick up some stuff in the Dollar Tree Plus section. And just to clarify, Dollar Tree is $1.25 unless you buy something from the plus section. This is $5. Kids love these like anything electronic. So this is an LED light bar, has 16 different light settings. And um, I don't know, it's a three foot cord and it has a little remote and so they will like that as well. I did pick up these cute uh, dog stickers. There's 10 here and you get, they're called glitter stickers, but they're the pop-up ones. They're kind of dimensional and really cute stickers. 
I also uh, picked up another set of these sticker, uh, these stamps that have love. They work really well, but these are going to go with um, something that I'm selling. So I did go ahead and pick those up so that I could uh, put them in that package. I also picked up these are the 32s. These are button batteries, and I use these in my remotes for um, filming like this. And it works super good when I don't leave the remote on and forget to turn it off. So there you go. Um, I did pick up some disinfecting wipes to go in my purse. And then Dollar Tree had these cool canvas bags. And so I'm going to use uh, some glitter paste and I'm going to make our team um, some bags with their initials or something on it. So I thought this would be fun and a fun project to share as well. So I'm going to do that in the future. Let's see what's next. I hope you enjoyed uh, tooling around the store. I didn't get to show a whole lot because it is um, a busy day there, but I did pick up some olive oil there. I was out of my own and I wanted to try this one. This is by Pompa, Pompa and cholesterol free. So nice. Then um, I got the kitties their treats. They love these temptations. They were already smelling the bag. So I guess they knew they were in there. And now um, Dollar Tree's been carrying Noor, Noor, um, these little rice mixes. So the um, rice, Spanish rice, and then the chicken. I like these, they're quick and easy, especially if you need something real quick to make for dinner to go as a side. So I do like, I do like that. So I'm gonna put this back in the bag there to go downstairs. I am upstairs. I also found this cute little, I don't know, surgical looking uh, tire, like a nurse or doctor for the little Barbie or fashion doll. So I did pick that up. It's, I thought that was really super cute. And then they had these fun, uh, different cars with the trailer they pull here. This is a police car. And then the fire engine with a little, like, like a boat or raft. It's not a boat, it's a raft. So anyway, fire and rescue. I thought those would be fun for the kids as well. Uh, sponges, um, the little light scrub on the one side and the sponge on the other. And then look at this. I showed this on the video, this log truck. Now I grew up where I grew up. You saw log trucks all the time. And so this was really cool to find a log truck actually at Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree does have an array of flip-flops as I showed you. So I picked up a couple pairs in case um, there was interest in those. Now the next thing that I, and I hadn't looked up everything on it, but um, PS Clean Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner are at Dollar Tree. This is the volumizing shampoo. They had the gentle and the hydrating. And then this is the leave-in conditioner. And this is the volumizing conditioner. So I don't know if they counteract each other, but I wanted to try it. I used Joyco. It smells pretty good. I mean, but anyway, I saw that this was like 1850 online. And I looked it up. And so this is a pretty sweet deal for $1.25. Um, this is 12 ounces. So I'm going to try it and see what I think of it. See how, I, how it cleans my hair and if I like it. So have you ever tried PS Clean Beauty? I'd like to know. I would really like to know. So I'm going to put that back in my bag to go downstairs. The next thing I wanted to show you here is uh, a cute little set of outdoor shapes like your little uh, flowers their little wood um you know the wood shapes and this is your little wheelbarrow flowers flower pots the little water 
um, can. I don't know what all is in there, but it's really cute. You get 24 pieces. And then how come I can never find my fly swatter? So I thought, well, I, they're right here. I might as well get one. Well, you get two, two for $1.25. So I thought that was a good deal. And I didn't want the fancy kind with the flower on it. So I thought, well, this will work. Those flies, I do not like flies. Then they uh, had pet blankets. They had the blue and the gray. So I did get two. They're not super huge. They're like 28 inches by 24 inches. So not super huge, but enough to lay uh, like on your car if you're going to take your pet in there or to put in their bed if they want to. So over by the flowers, they also have these wooden stakes. Um, I thought they were super cute. I call them animal picks. So they're little, uh, this is a snail shape. You get four and you can put them in your flower pot and decorate there. Uh, then I found the whale clothes pins for the shore living. This one looks like it's coming off, so I'm going to have to glue him back on. Now, again, I was also looking for things for the kids' store, so they have these little squeezies. They don't really smell good, but they're called Squeezy Yum. And this is boba tea, and I guess they're both boba tea, but this is purple and green. So I did get those for the kids as well. I thought they were fun. Fun to squeeze. If you need like something to do with your hands, that's the, that's the kind of thing you want right there. I picked up some index cards. They had the 225. Wow, that's a good deal. And then um, they also had the little flip book. And I noticed that on these dividers, you can pull them out and then put them like back in, kind of like a happy planner. So you can separate your book however you want to with however many pages you want to. And if you're studying for something, that's a really great tool right there. And then it for, um, not for receipts myself, but for your plant, uh, for your junk journals, these receipts would be fun to decorate just like your guest checks. And so did pick a book of those up so I didn't have any. And I got a purple and a pink one of those. The next wood thing that I picked up, or wood shape, is a bird. And on the other side, it's the chalkboard. So I thought these were really cute. That would be fun, even if you just used it as the template. I picked up some LA Colors eyeliner. And then a few seeds. I don't know if I'm going to actually plant some this year, but I did pick up daisies and this uh, dipsophilia. And then the peppers and pumpkins. I've tried so many times growing things and it's just not been, I'm just apparently don't have a green thumb for outdoors. I don't know. Anyway, um, these are wireless uh, headset. So um, Bluetooth and they're blue and they were $5 and that's for the kids as well. I've got, uh, I think, one more bag to show you. It has some big stuff in it. So let me show you that um, I'm putting in the kids' store as well. This cute dinosaur. Is he the cutest? And he was $5 or she, I don't know which. which. And then this one is a, like a, a little cute whale. And the bottom looks like scales. So cute. At first, when I saw the tail like this, I thought, oh, it's a mermaid, but it's a whale, but it's still cute. And then lastly, look at this huge badminton set. I mean, who wouldn't want this, right? It's huge. So I thought, you know, novelty. And uh, she gave me a deal on it because it didn't have a price tag. So I was like, oh, okay, well, thank you. And so that's my haul. That's what I came home with. Really fun stuff for... Um, my giving away and a few things for the house, a couple of things for crafts. So I hope you enjoyed this haul and the shop with me and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Oh, what was your favorite? Hmm. I don't know. My favorite. Well, I love the kids stuff. 
probably the canvas bags because I'm going to make something with them. Anyway, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.